Hi there, I'm G and welcome to Cozy Veal Studios. Are you ready for another tasty veggie forward dish? Say hello to Green Bean Almondine. It's the perfect blend of crispy and nutty. So get ready to wow your dinner guests with this deceptively simple Green Bean Almondine recipe. Let's roll up our sleeves and get cooking. But before we begin, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell for more recipes from us. First, you will want to prepare a large bowl with ice water and then go ahead and set that aside. Then bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Once that is boiling, add the green beans to the pot of water and cook for about three to four minutes or until the beans are crisp and tender. Once they are done cooking, you can transfer them to the prepared ice water. Remove the green beans from the ice water and gently pat dry. Now it's time to cook the almonds. In a large saucepan over medium-high heat, add sliced almond. Toast the almonds until golden brown, which should take about three to five minutes. Once they are toasty and fragrant, you can remove them from the pan and set aside. In the same pan, melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Then add two large yellow onions that have been thinly sliced. Season with salt and pepper, and then cook for 20 to 25 minutes to caramelize the onion. During cooking, if there are any spots on the skillet where the residue of the onion is starting to burn, deglaze the area with chicken broth or water, which basically means just put a splash of chicken broth or water into the pan and let that kind of steam away. Add one tablespoon of fresh or dry thyme, then mix and let the onions cook for about three more minutes. Add the reserved green beans to the skillet with most of the almonds. You want to reserve about two tablespoons of the toasted almonds for later. Mix the green beans, onions, and almonds together. Then plate the green beans and garnish and top with the reserved almonds and enjoy. If you want the full recipe, then check out the description box below or head to cozymeal.com slash recipes where you will certainly find this recipe and so much more. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more recipes from Cozy Meal Studios. And I don't know about you, but I'm so excited to see what is coming up next. See you again soon.